Hi everyone, it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website and I'm here today again to t talk to you about the Reader's Hub on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, so this is a three part series. In the first part I talked about the Kobo ebook reader. Um, so I went through some of the features, also recommended some of my favourite books. In the second part I went through the uh, magazine's application, uh, so it was powered by Zinio. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the news, newspaper reading application in Reader's Hub, which is probably one of my favorites, actually. Um, it's powered by an application called Press Display. So uh, this is it. This is, the, this is the application. What it allows you to do is it allows you to um, download newspapers from all around the world in lots of different countries, lots of different languages. It allows you to download them straight onto your mobile phone and then to view them straight away um, and you know basically find out what's going on in the world today so um, the first thing to point out is that you know this application has a built-in uh, has a built-in store so you can go on this store and you can instantly download newspapers from all around the world so if we just go through this here you can see I mean it's, it's all in alphabetical you see you've got you know you've got newspapers from all across the world um, and you know the fact is you know even if you're living in the UK there's nothing to stop you uh, from downloading a newspaper from, say, the US or from South Korea or somewhere like that. I mean, you know, it means that, you know, if you're on holiday and you want to keep up with the news, you know, with the newspapers back home, you can do that. Um, you know, if you're an, if you're an expat, um, you've moved to a different country, um, you can still read the newspapers from home. Um, and, you know, if you were going to go, essentially go to a store and, you know, buy those newspapers in, on paper, um, it's generally very expensive, very hard to obtain. Um, so this is a really good uh, way of obtaining foreign newspapers um, as well you know as well as UK newspapers um, a nice feature if you speak another language is you can here you can sort the newspapers by language um, so say you're learning say you're learning another language such as French you can go and you know you can go and see all the French newspapers um, also you know I mean I know I mean I spoke I, I when I was in Barcelona recently I spoke to a lot of people who spoke Catalan and you know it's really important for them to kind of keep some of their culture so you know, they can go along here and they can just you know you can come along you can find that you can see all the Catalan newspapers and you can download that you know wherever you live in the world but anyway on, I mean on to the on to the main point um, so you know if you're using this application in the UK and you just want to you know you just want to read um, you know newspapers basically um, you'll see that there are a total of 167 publications available in the UK so that's different newspapers um, that's you know most of the national newspapers uh, many of the local newspapers as well so um you know from you know from near you know from where you live or whatever so um you see as we scroll down we start to see um some kind of more um you know the belfast telegraph the scotsman the yorkshire post the birmingham post kind of you know more more local newspapers as opposed to the you know national dailies um so what i can do is i literally just go to the newspaper i want to read so um i don't know what do i feel like today i mean i'm a uh, I'm probably a Guardian person, really. So just tap on the Guardian. Um, it shows me a calendar. So what I can do is I can, um, well, I can actually download newspapers some different days if I wanted to, so if I want to see a back issue or something like that. Um, what I can do here is I can actually um, subscribe to the Guardian if I wanted to, and that would mean that all new, you know, all new, all new issues of the Guardian automatically get downloaded onto my phone. But I just wanted to download uh, one off, um, so tap OK. And then uh, the newspaper will uh, start downloading onto my phone straight away. There we go. So there we go. So the Guardian is downloading right now. But anyway, uh, whilst that downloads, um, I'll show you one that I prepared earlier. So um, here's the independent. This is actually from a few days ago, but you know, never mind. Um, but as you can see, you get the full print experience. So the entire newspapers here, as you know, as you would see it um, printed on paper. So you know, you get all the articles, all of the photos. You even get all of the adverts. Um, you don't miss a single thing. Um, now, what you can do is, uh, you know, like with the magazines, is you can very quickly scroll through the entire newspaper uh, to see if there's something that interests you 
Um, so you can do that graphically. You can also go to table of contents. Um, so you can just jump straight to a section that interests you. Um, so I'm quite into business, so I go straight to the business section. And you see here the, you know, the full, you know, full business section. I can read articles by zooming in like this, just pinch to zoom. Um, and I can just scroll around. But you know, yet again, it, that's not a mobile um, optimized experience. That's, you know, that's, you could do that. Um, and there's, there's no problem with doing that at all, but it's probably not the best way of reading articles at all. And um, simply just tap on the headline and the entire newspaper article gets reformatted you know, with pictures um, into a mobile friendly format. Um, and you, there's a few accessibility features here, so you can change the font size, make it larger, um, maybe a bit too big there, but uh, something more like that. Um, and you know, I mean, it's, it, there is a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus display on this, so you know, it looks pretty, you can, you can read a fair amount of text in one go. Um, but if, if, you, if reading isn't really what you're into, you just uh, press listen here, and then it uses the text speech engine which is built into the phone and it will read Search out the article. Okay, enough of that. So anyway, so basically it gives you more ways um, it gives you more ways of reading newspaper articles. You can read it in a tradition traditional way um, using pinch to zoom. You can read it in mobile friendly format just by tapping the headline or you can listen to the newspaper uh, by tapping the listen button. So that's a pretty nice feature. Um, so, you know, as I said, uh, you get newspapers from all around the world. Um, you can subscribe to newspapers which are just downloaded uh, straight away onto your phone, either over 3G or over Wi-Fi. Um, and yeah, 